Welcome to Totally Integrated Instrumentation. Today we're going to have a look at adding a Profibus PA device to our, ex our existing project. And I'm going to do this over um, a few videos. And what we're going to concentrate on with this particular um, installation is using a transparent um, DP to PA coupler. So this is probably the easiest way to, to get to Profibus PA devices into a TIA portal project. Um, its only weakness really is this. So when we add PA devices, we have to slow the bus speed down to the Profibus PA speed. So. Um, we had that on and because we're at that speed we can use design tools and everything else that I've, I've, I've previously touched on and, and that's fine. But we do have to be aware that we are now mixing a DP and PA topology on, on one cable and this PLC isn't aware that you're doing that all it's aware of is that you've slowed down the bus speed okay so just be careful overloading your network with too many devices on, on one DP card you can add, add extra DP cards to, to help so the the first thing we need to do is slow the bus speed down and then, then the next thing we need to do is install the GSDs and you can get the manufacturers GSD but what I'm going to show you here is on this website we can download the profile specific GSDs. So this is a transmitter with, with two analog inputs. Um, the analog input is referring to, you know, we always refer to the PLC. So if you're an instrumentation engineer, we, we would class that as an analog output. So it's very confusing, but you're always working from perspective of the of the PLC. If you look down here, this is just showing you the the first bit of the GSD, and you can see it's compatible with any um, profile three or above instrument that has two um, uh, uh, analog inputs. So I've downloaded the GSDs and I've put those on my desktop here. I've already installed this one, so I'm going to install the remainders. So I'm going to install the remaining GSDs. So options. So browse for your file. I've already installed this one and you can see there it's it's closed the, the hardware screen in the background we'll install all four of the so now we've installed the gsds we've slowed the bus speed down to to the Profibus PA speed, we um, have to add the device and it's under field devices, the transmitter with one output, link that to the master, make sure the address is set right for the device and if you want to rename it So this will be your site tag, but that's what will also appear on the HMI if, you, if you've got uh, the, the um, advanced license, the special block you can bring in, and also on the display for the 1500. So we'll, we'll download that. And we're online. The instrument itself is in fault. 
check the online diagnostics. My error exists. And that's really about as far as TIA portal can go with determining the error. But we can see the error is with the instrument, so we need to see if we can add that to our PDM project and see what's wrong with it. Here we have our existing PDM project that we've been working on before. If you can remember what we had to do, we had to set the subnet ID. So this was already communicating to our Hydro 200. So in here, insert new object. And it shouldn't matter that we're using a generic GSD. What you'll see is when we're using the device identification, it will try and, and, and pull in a generic EDD, but you can force it to use the manufacturer specific EDD. So here we have it's found it anyway. So there we go. Um, it's in my project, if I want to see what's wrong with it, I can go to object properties diagnostics and I'll take my diagnostics so I've got loss of echo it's gone to a fail safe level I can see clearly there from PDM what's wrong with my device and this is why the two software packages really work in tandem TIA portal tells me I've got an error PDM tells me what the error is but it also tells me how to fix it so if I go back to my project, all that remains to be done is to, to add this information to my tag table. So I'll go offline for that. And we're going to have a look. I've already got a tag table set up with Profibus PA values. And this is my... First four words of real, and I can see here 108. This is a byte. So I can see this device here isn't physically connected. So your status byte goes to zero. Right? So that's um, a good feature in status byte. Straight away, zero status byte. It's, the device is physically not there. My pro value has gone to a level of zero. And I can see from the status byte 4B. Um, that if it's healthy, that will be hex 8080. 4B is indicating an er error, and as I said, if you go back to PDM, we could see there's a maintenance request. So there you go. Um, nothing wrong with using gene generic GSDs, just wanted to show you them. Of course, you can carry on using the manufacturer GSDs. There's absolutely no issue using both, but um, you are going to have issues um, trying to get the devices replaced at a later date if you've got um, obsolescence problems so that was it overview of adding a, a Profibus PA device to a transparent uh, uh, DP to PA coupler on TIA portal thanks for listening and I hope you found it useful